Uh, okay, uh, welcome to Steelman Live Shows. Uh, this is Sam. This is Becky. Okay, uh, hello, uh, well, well, welcome our customers uh, to uh, watch our live show again here. Yes. Yes, and uh, this, is the, uh, this is Sam from Steelmates. And uh, today we are going to introduce about our uh, parking sensors, uh, parking assist systems yes. uh, for our customers. So, uh, Becky, yes. uh, does you uh, ever have some problems while you are parking a car? Yes, of course. Uh, you know, uh, sometimes I'm not really, uh, I'm not really good at the reversing, right? Yeah. Yes. So uh, I couldn't see anything uh, when I uh, back up, right? Mm. Yes. Yeah. So uh, I my car will hit something else and uh, make some da da uh, dangerous. So uh, it, this situation is very really scary. It's really dangerous, so yes. I thought it would be great if uh, have a sample product could be uh, solve this problem. It would be much better, right? Uh, yes. yes. So today uh, we will introduce our parking assist system here. Yes. And uh, our most customers would call this product uh, for parking sensors. So uh, this product is a common product and it's uh, uh, very useful. Most uh, early passenger car has a uh, parking sensor system for daily using, right? Yes. Parking, right? Yes. So uh, that's why the parking sensor is very really important for us, right? Yes, of course. Okay, so uh, does your car have the parking sensors? For now, yes. Okay. Uh, my, uh, also, uh, so your car parking sensor is only real parking or front parking as well? Uh, just only for the real parking. Just for real parking. Yes. <laughs> okay. So for my cars also uh, have a real parking uh, here. Okay. Okay. So for a lot of questions here, yes. uh, does your front bumpers of your car uh, get the damage or get scratching uh, while you driving, uh, yeah. while you are uh, parking here? Yes. Uh, okay, so uh, for the front parking, it seems uh, we're, uh, we're also needed here because uh, you know that uh, for me, as a very scared for driver uh, for more than six years, yes. and uh, also when I'm uh, reversing or, or parking a car here, uh, sometimes my front bumpers also get scratched uh, to the bush or uh, hit something uh, while my uh, reversing because uh, uh, it is very easy for drivers to focus on the situation from the back yes. and ignore the situation from the front. So uh, today uh, we will introduce one item uh, which is uh, we're greatly helping uh, the driver to solve the problem for the front bumpers. And uh, this item is uh, uh, PTS 411s. And uh, this is uh, the main uh, item that we are promoting right now. Okay, so uh, could you tell me more about uh, what's new also, what's new and also what's new uh, to this product and also to our customers? Okay, sure. Uh, we can see that uh, uh, here, this box uh, is a uh, packing for the uh, PT sensor or the rear parking sensors. And uh, this is, we call it uh, dog purpose here for this uh, uh, for these items here. Okay, we will check out what's inside. Okay. Okay. Here is a menu here. Yes. And uh, here are the sensors. Okay. And uh, here is the cover. Okay. And uh, here is the main ECU. And. Uh, Okay, uh, we we'll check the main ECU first. And uh, here, uh, for the main ECU, we, we can say that it's very, uh, uh, it's very uh, slim here. And uh, uh, we can see that there have three uh, jumpers here. So uh, these items can be uh, works for uh, front park sensor and the rear park sensors. Uh, it's uh, mo most, uh, uh, it's uh, very convenient for the uh, for the uh, importer or distributors uh, because for these items 
they only need to uh, keep one item as stock, and uh, you can both servers for the front and the rear parking sensors. So uh, it provides uh, more mobility, uh, for the, uh, more flexible for the customers here. Okay. okay. So and also, uh, it can solve the problem for the uh, inventory problem for the uh, customers here. Okay. So okay. Uh, that sounds great, right? Yeah. So a customer can make a miss and combine some order to meet our production MOQ, right? Yes. Yes, and mm. it also uh, can fit some uh, small and the uh, micro business activities. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So another question. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, mm. Since you mentioned that uh, this product is available for the front and the new one, right? Yes. So I would like to know how long is it the cable and uh, with this cable length be sufficient when I use it as a front parking sensors. Okay, uh, so we can check the cable for this one. Okay. Um, okay, here uh, are the cables for the parking sensors, uh, PTS 411. Okay. So uh, we have four cables here right now. Uh, okay, this uh, for our standard uh, products equips with uh, the cable the length is 2.3 meters. And uh, normally, this one is for the uh, rear parking sensors. Okay. But uh, if you want to uh, use this one both for the front or rear, then you uh, will have another options for the customers. And you can choose the cable with the lens for uh, 4.5 meters. Okay. So for uh, this two, the cable cables is for the uh, stranger or the optional choice. Uh, yes, so uh, for the 2.3 uh, meters, okay. uh, it's a standard, uh, standard uh, for the, uh, our products. And uh, for the 4.3, it's optional for the customers. Okay, okay so uh, we will uh, briefly uh, introduce about this, uh, uh, our products for each component and how it works here. Yes. Okay, so uh, I just showed the uh, menu, menu see you here right just now. So I will come with the uh, the socket and the how to connect the wires for for uh, for, for installation. Okay, uh, firstly we can see that on the cover we have uh, three words A B C D. That means uh, four sensors. So uh, and we correspondingly we have the for cables, for cables yeah. and uh, for sensor here, and we can check. Okay, uh, here is the sensors uh, for the uh, for for sensors each one, okay. and uh, this one uh, this sensors uh, separately with the cable with the cable because it is very be helpful for the uh, installer to in, uh, install the sensors. Uh, they can just uh, drain it on the bumper and then insert the sensors to connecting with the, the cables. Okay, so uh, for next socket is the display, and uh, uh, we can find our uh, display here. Uh, we can check that this is the display, and uh, the next one is the speaker, uh, and also we call it a buzzer here. Okay. Okay, so which means this uh, two sockets. Uh, it's optional for customers. The customer can uh, choose uh, the speaker or booster only, or it can work with the speak, uh, the displays. Okay. So the last socket is the power, and uh, we can check the power cable here. Okay, here is the the power cable. Uh, sorry, this is the power cables. And uh, this is for the speakers, for the extending the uh, extending the buzzer. Okay, and uh, uh, let us check the back uh, back of the uh, main ECU here. And uh, we can say there are three jumpers here. And the first jumper uh, we can say is front and rear. So right now our standard product is for the rear parking sensors. So if you want to uh, change it to work with the front park sensors, uh, you are just uh, simply uh, plug out the jumper and the to the top uh, and then 
This system uh, works with the uh, front parking sensors. And uh, also, uh, for the uh, our other two jumpers here, uh, we, uh, we, we can see that they have the uh, distance for the uh, for the uh, bumper uh, heat from the ground to the bumpers, so you can choose the uh, this, the, the, heat, the different the heat from the uh, ground to the bumpers to uh, let the parking sensors working uh, have a better performance here. Okay, and uh, what's more, we can see that there are some clip for the wires, and uh, here is the tape. Uh, for fixing the cable, and uh, this I was uh, uh, solve for the this uh, for draining the uh, hole for the bump for the sensors. Okay. Yeah. So uh, I understood. So, yeah. uh, but here, cast in your question is about mm. the front and new parking sensor. Yeah. Because you mentioned that uh, if this uh, product can circuit can be as a front. Both front and the mm. new parking sensor, yes, right? Yes. yes. So, uh, it is, so I mean, I install a uh, one parking sensor and mm. both as a uh, front, and the another one is uh, for the new parking sensor, right? Yes. Yes. So, yeah. uh, but uh, so I would like to know how can we identify the buzzer warming from the uh, front of the um, of from the new parking sensor. Uh, okay, uh, we can see that uh, we have one uh, buzzer here, okay. and uh, if you uh, you install our systems for front and uh, uh, for the rear uh, both, so uh, the customer may be wondering that how to identify the voice uh, is from the front or from the back. Okay, so uh, for this buzzer, uh, we have uh, uh, solutions to uh, solve the problems. Uh, firstly, we have uh, we can say that uh, on the uh, left and the right side, uh, we have a two switch here, and uh, this two switch uh, is changing the uh, sound volume for the sound, and also uh, you can change the frequency for the volume uh, for the sound. So, uh, for example, for the volume, we have three levels here. Uh, first one is low level, and the second one is medium level. Uh, third one is high levels. And uh, for the frequency, we have the uh, low frequency and the high frequencies. So uh, the customer can ch and can set in the voice uh, with different volume and the different frequency uh, to help in the uh, driver to notice that uh, the voice is from the front or from the back. Okay, so uh, simply uh, this uh, system, if you uh, installed with the rear uh, parking sensors, so uh, there only just to need to uh, connecting to the uh, cable or uh, the system where uh, only uh, to IP activated. Uh, if you change the gear from the, to the reversing, uh, then the system will start working. And uh, if you change, uh, if you change this uh, system to the front. Uh, parking sensors. Uh, then uh, you can you have to connect in this uh, uh, two or four two wires. One is for the uh, reversing gear, and the another one you have to connect into the uh, free brake. So which means for the front parking sensors, uh, we just in uh, you while you parking only if your foot on the uh, on the foot brake, then the system will be activated. Or your system uh, switch to the reversing gear. It also will be activated here. Okay. Okay. So uh, for the uh, I think for the uh, uh, front parking sensors is uh, very important to the customers. Yes. Because uh, why are you why are us to reversing here? Uh, many uh, many drivers are mainly focus on the uh, back on the back situations. So if any uh, obscure or objects from the uh, front, you are, uh, the system will warning to you and then you can avoid any accident here. Okay, so uh, yeah. for this product, it's uh, very intelligent, right? Yes. Okay, okay and uh, what's more, 
for these systems, uh, uh, we have a very, uh, very special designs for the customers because uh, uh, this system uh, is not only works for the 12 watts uh, passenger cars, but also uh, this system can uh, work for the uh, 12 watts uh, like the uh, uh, the light truck and the pickup and the van like that. So the, the voltage input is from uh, 11 watts to 24 watts. Okay, yeah. so it's suitable for working different cars, right? Yes, okay. And uh, uh, we can uh, know that uh, uh, also uh, this system has a uh, work uh, this system is uh, have a very sp special function. I just mentioned that uh, we can uh, uh, we can change the uh, the the heat, the heat of the ground to the bumpers. Yes. Uh, because for the different cars, uh, the uh, heat from ground the ground to the bumper is different. Yeah. Uh, so if you uh, work, uh, if you install on the different cars, so uh, we can change you. Uh, the distance from uh, 45 centimeters to uh, 54 centimeters uh, for the small cars. And if your car, uh, the heat from ground to your bumper is uh, higher, and then you can change it to another uh, options. Uh, the distance is from uh, 54 to 65 centimeters. Okay, okay so it will help in the uh, Helping the parking sensor performance better here. Okay, so yeah. uh, let's see some uh, customer comments. Okay, okay. so uh, mm. they ask, uh, what is the make of the this product market? Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, the main market of the our parking sensor systems, uh, right now, uh, includes uh, a lot of uh, areas and the countries, and, and there are mainly. Uh, the customer is from the Europe and uh, North America, yes. the Middle East okay. and the Southeast the Asia, and also from South America as well. Okay. Uh, and uh, mostly, uh, the customer from the Europe, uh, they need uh, very special functions because they want to uh, traveling uh, during their weekend and the vacations. So uh, they, they are using a very big cars with a trailer. Uh, to training uh, to tell uh, towards the, the trailer uh, and also or uh, they or they, they, they are use driving a big SUV with a spare uh, wheel on the back okay. so uh, for our these systems uh, have a very special function uh, are designed for this kind of cars and uh, we call it uh, learning functions uh, because uh, uh, if you uh, car uh, with a tow bar or with a spare parts on the back and uh, our system uh, can uh, uh, prolong the detection uh, distance for uh, 20 centimeters so you can uh, ignore the uh, tow bar or the spare parts to regard it this uh, as a uh, object on the back so to you can uh, avoid it. any uh, false alarm here. Okay. Yeah. So, so yeah. So it's uh, very specially designed for this kind of cars. Yes. Yeah. Sounds. Uh, it's really good. Right? Yes. So yeah. I think I, after this so mm -hmm. I think anyone will buy a one yeah. a one a new product for their car, right? Okay. okay. So okay. what's your car, uh, color for the car? Uh, it's a white. 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 Yeah. Okay. And. Uh, our sensors, you can say normally it's black, but uh, if you want to choose a different kind of colors, yes. uh, we also have a lot of options for the customers here. Okay, we can check uh, what colors of the sensor we can do here. Okay. Okay, so uh, here is the uh, color chart for the sensors. and. Uh, uh, we can say that there we have a lot of options for the customers from the white, yellow, uh, black, and the blue, and uh, many other options as well. Yes. So, uh, if you, the customer uh, want to 
uh, make a larger colors, which is uh, not, uh, not uh, including here. Uh, they also can be uh, sent as the code for the Pantone code uh, colors, uh, the color codes, and uh, we can tailor made the color for customers. Okay. And uh, what's more, uh, even you already bought our parking sensor uh, systems already, uh, our sensors uh, can uh, be printed with other colors as well. Okay. Okay. So, uh, which means our sensors uh, is uh, uh, okay for the customers to print in the color for uh, their uh, f favorite colors for them. Okay. So for yeah. the sensor color, we can do the OEM uh, different color for the customer, yeah. right? Yes. Okay. That's great, right? Yes. Okay. And uh, also, uh, after uh, we check in the color of the sensors, and uh, we can uh, present a different uh, sensor type for our customers to choose as well. Okay. And uh, here we can say that uh, we have two kind of uh, sensors for installations. Yes. First one is like this one. Uh, we call it. Uh, uh, bumper mounting sensors okay. because for this kind of sensors uh, the installer uh, should uh, drain in the hole on the bumpers and uh, insert uh, insert this kind of sensor to the hole uh, that's, uh, that's finish the installations so we call it uh, bumper mounting uh, installation ways but uh, we have another way to uh, install the system as well okay. uh, because uh, for the uh, bumper sensor, uh, uh, for the bumper mounting sensors, uh, normally uh, because for the cars, the bumper is not flat. Yeah. So uh, we have uh, we have to uh, offer the different angle co covers for the sensors to help in the uh, sensor have a better fitting to the bumpers. Yes. Uh, so this is this is the, the cover for the sensors. Okay. And. Uh, we can say that uh, uh, this kind of sensor, uh, this is a kind of sensor cover, uh, we uh, provide three options for the customers. Uh, first one is the uh, zero degree angles, uh, which means you, uh, the sensor uh, is vertical to the, uh, to the bumpers, uh, so they have low angles. But if you are fitting on the uh, left side or right side, uh, there have the, the bumper is not flat, so you can choose the other two ang uh, angle cover for for the sensors to uh, help in the uh, sensor with a better fitting to the bumpers. Another uh, two uh, angles is uh, four uh, four degrees and uh, ten degrees, so you are helping the uh, installer uh, to have to install the sensors uh, to have a better fitting on the bumpers. So uh, what's next? Uh, we have a lot of kind of way for the installations. Uh, we call it uh, flash mount. Uh, and we can see the back. And uh, here, yeah, on the back, uh, it's not uh, like the, uh, f the bumper mounting sensors. Uh, we have the another, uh, like a screw like that to hatching the uh, sensors uh, with the bumpers. So uh, this way, uh, we don't we don't need the cover uh, for the sensors, and the, the sensors can just uh, 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 very equally with the surface of the bumpers. So and so this way, uh, also uh, using on the original cars. So uh, also this kind of sensors we call it uh, OE sensors for the uh, parking sensors. So that's why. Uh, there are many customers who prefer uh, to choose our uh, flash mount parking sensors uh, because this kind of ins install uh, installation ways uh, is exactly same as the original cars. So that's why our uh, steel made parking sensors are more, more are very more, uh, very popular in the market. Yeah. Okay. okay. So uh, this is a two kind of sensor for installations. Okay. Yes. So, uh, you know, uh, I have another question is about the... Yeah. Yes. 
about the sensor and the ECU, right? Yeah. Because I am from the South China and yeah. in summer there yeah. is a heavy heavy rain and a high temperature weather, right? Yeah. So I would like to know uh, is this system still working normally in this uh hustle weather? Uh yes. Yeah. Uh as I just say that uh, for our steelmates products uh always have a uh, very uh, high quality standards here. Yes. And uh, uh, for example, like the sensors, uh, we have the uh, exactly same uh, same sensors as the OE uh, cars. And also for our main ECUs and the cables are doing a lot of testing here. Yes. So uh, our products can be working in uh, the temperature uh, from uh, below twenty uh, below forty centigrade to uh, eighty centigrade. Uh, the, for the temperatures and also uh, the sensor uh, are waterproof and also for the connectors uh, also uh, waterproof uh, for this connector only just to plug in and uh, when you use this kite to uh, cover it and then it's waterproof okay and uh, what's more uh, our cables are using uh, the wire inside the cable uh, is uh, all coppers, copper materials, so uh, it provides a uh, better transformation for the singles. And uh, uh, what's more, our products uh, have uh, uh, our products, our uh, parking sensors have been produced and uh, selling for more than 20, 20 years. So uh, our systems already been upgraded. To the uh, up to date, so uh, yeah, the performance is very stable and uh, never have complaints for for our customers. And uh, also, uh, our parking sensors, you can choose uh, two sensor or four sensor for the customers. Yeah. Okay, so it still may has a uh, very high danger for the product, right? Yes. Okay, so. Okay. Uh, let, uh, let's, let us do some summarize about the PTS 411 okay. models, okay? Okay, sure. Okay. So the, the number one is uh, mm. about the dual proposal, right? Yes. Can be, the sensor and the cable can be used uh, as a dual parking sensor or the in the front parking sensor, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. Another one is uh, apply for the passenger car and or uh, the 24 voltage commercial car yes. suitable for di different cars, right? Yes, for yes. Two, two kinds of voltage input cars. Yes, yes. yes. the mm. sleep point is uh, uh, this system has a la uh, landing function for the car with, uh, with the or spare or wheel, right? Spare wheel, yes. 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 The fourth point is uh, has a self-testing self function yes. to check the sensor working normally or has a, uh, anti, uh, has a anti force the uh, function right? Yes, because uh, uh, the self-testing function is that uh, for the uh, sensor, if the sensor have a problem uh, or yeah. not working normally, uh, our buzzer or the display uh, will indicate the corresponding uh, sensors uh, to have a problem to alert the drivers to change this sensor uh, immediately. Okay. Yeah. And the, uh, the last one is uh, inside pumper a mouth sensor with three different uh, mm. covers to fit the pumper, right? Yes. And fresh mouth, uh, fresh mouth, the sensor is adjustable to fit the pumper in the same surface, right? Yes. Yeah. Also yeah. called uh, OEM, OEM sensor, sensor. Yes. right? Yes. yes. That's uh, all the uh, features about uh, PTS 411. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. And uh, also uh, this system uh, are what all weather designs, they can work in, in any kind of conditions of weather, uh, even for even in the heavy rain or snowing. Yeah, yeah, and that's the, right. Yeah, also you even the uh, air is too cold or too hot, yeah. it also uh, working normally. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, let us have a short break and to check if I have any co uh, comment or question from our customers, and then we'll come to the next product. Okay. okay.
Okay, welcome back to Still Make Learning So. Welcome back. Yes, and uh, one typical question uh, from our customer, and we are going to next model to answer this. Okay, okay. yes. Uh, he said, I am a car import, importer and uh, uh, import a car, and all import cars we, uh, are without the uh, parking sensors, so uh, I want to make a uh, both from and new sensors for cars and make the cars uh, with a high level for selling. Yes. Yes. So, so uh, yes. So uh, for this model is uh, in here. So uh, this is a uh, front and new parking sensor. Okay. Let me introduce. Okay. Okay. This is a. Uh, for the park, uh, for the front and the lower parking sensor, the number is the PTS A10 series. Okay, let us open the booth. Okay, we can see the component in the side. Okay, so uh, yeah. this model can be can be changed. Uh, can be or uh, has uh, A sensors, and they also it also can be changed by the A sensors, right? Six yes. Sensor. Oh, six sensor. Sorry. Yeah. Okay, let me open the sensor first. Okay, a sensor in here. So uh, you also can be changed to the set sensor, uh, set, uh, four sensor by Leo and two sensor for the front parking. Right? Nice. Okay. So uh, this model not only including all features that uh, PTS 411 has, it also have a comparing two set of the PTS 411 models. Yeah. To make your A sensors, it also can be uh, integrate or uh, ECU by one, decide to uh, save time and label installa installation, right? Yes, because uh, for PTS uh, 11, 411s, uh, if you want to use for uh, front and the rear, you have to install two ECUs. Okay. But for this item, you only in, uh, you need to install one ECU. Yes. So this is the ECU here. Okay. Yes. And we can see this. Uh, this is a LCD display, and this display we can see the uh, both front and rear situation so in the same display. And there is a function for the sensor sensor sensitivity adjustment for both PTS A10 number uh, model okay this is for the ECU, ECU yes yeah. and this ECU you can see uh, the ECU jumper in here can be setting to indicate the sensor installation height higher from the glow to uh, better, to get a better detection performance right yes, yes. just as uh, I explained yes yeah. okay Okay, let us show the different uh, display for the customer, okay? Okay, sure. Okay, here I uh, have uh, another uh, LCD display and yes. uh, LED display for our customer to choose. Yes. Okay, we can uh, check. Open it. Okay. For the first one. For the first one is a uh, LCD display, display right? Yes. yes. Yeah. So, and, okay. Yeah, it's also with a uh, human voice. Yes. Yeah. Okay, the next one is this two kind of the model is for the LED display. It can be installed on the dashboard and the most com uh, common installation location uh, also can be installed for the front or uh, front rooftop or the lower rooftop and see the visual data by lower mirror, right? Yes. Yes, and the display view uh, this, this one. Yeah. And display with digital volume can be changed different directions so the according to above the location setting. Yes. Yes. And uh, normally uh, the color of this uh, is uh, blue. It, it, yes, it's different. Yeah, when yeah. you are uh, reversing and the distance is too close, it will change to red. Yes. Yeah. Okay. As I say, our parking system has a self-testing function, right? Yes. So if there is uh, any damage and uh, definitely the uh, sensor happen, the middle, this one, the middle four red lights uh, to indicate this one. You indicate the corresponding four sensor will flash and uh, uh, 
be to let you know which one sensor has some problem, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. The so self testing functions. Yes, and yeah. all LCD display and the uh, LED display has a human voice warming, and you can choose ten or ten off. Yes. So for the color marking and testing, customers right. The more right the slim design. So, yes, yes, more like this one display. Very slim and looks a uh, very nice and elegant, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. So uh, here. So, yeah. Yes. So uh, we just uh, do a brief introduction about the uh, e sensors for this model. So uh, how uh, how about it uh, is uh, installation? We can see a video to see. Okay. Okay. Uh, let us see a video to uh, check how to install the sensor for the uh, PTS uh, A11, A10. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to find some of the uh, 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 Okay, welcome back to our Stimulab shows. Uh, okay, uh, we just finished the introduction for the uh, parking sensors, sensors yes. and uh, we introduced the two items here. Okay. Uh, first one is the PTS 411s, and the other one is for uh, PTS 18, okay. and uh, these uh, two items. Uh, most of the, uh, the selling items here. So uh, if you uh, have interest with our products, uh, please contact with us by the email address shown on the screens. Yes. And uh, so, uh, uh, so Becky, what's next we want to we will introduce to our customers? Uh, how about our new product, Bright uh, Spot Detection? Okay, uh, the Bright Spot Detection uh, actually is not a uh, very new products because these products are already uh, selling to the market for a uh, few years. Yes. And uh, also, there have more and more customers are caring about uh, this kind of uh, the, this kind of products because for uh, brand sport detection systems, uh, it's uh, greatly helping the drivers uh, to uh, ensure the driving safety. Uh, especially uh, for when they want to change the lane. Yes. Yeah, because uh, uh, do you have any experience that uh, uh, where you are want to change the lane, uh, but suddenly from the back side there have a car comes yeah, yeah comes yes. to you yeah suddenly uh, appear so uh, yeah. it almost uh, do uh, happen some uh, traffic accident for us. Yes. When we drive, right? Yeah, because uh, when, normally because of all cars, they have the brand errors. So you cannot see uh, the uh, the car in on your in your uh, mirrors or side mirror or the, in the real mirrors. Yes. But uh, when you turn the uh, when you change the lens, uh, the uh, cars appears from the back. Yes. So it makes a very uh, dangerous situations here. Yes. So uh, today. Uh, the products uh, for brand sport detection systems can help him to solve these problems. Okay, so uh, we will uh, introduce our products uh, directly. Okay. Okay, okay uh, firstly we will uh, introduce our uh, SBS-1 
uh, the blind spot detection systems. Okay. Yes, this is the first one uh, items here, and uh, we can check that uh, this box uh, have some uh, special uh, figures and uh, yeah, on special the box. Special design for the box. Yes, yeah. be because uh, this uh, box uh, is also a tooling for the uh, installer installer to uh, calibrate the positions to help in installing the sensors. Okay. Uh, we will check the uh, components inside first, and then uh, we will show a video uh, for how to install these systems here. Okay, firstly, uh, this is uh, the main ECU for our product, and uh, here is the connector uh, for the cable, and uh, here is the uh, sensors for the uh, brand spot detections. So, uh, Becky, do you know uh, what kind of sensor we are using here? Uh, sorry, I don't know. Uh, okay, uh, as I said, uh, we just introduced the parking sensors. Okay. Uh, we know that the parking sensor uh, we, we are using is radar, radar sensors. Okay. But for this uh, brand uh, spot detection sensors, uh, we are using the microwave. Okay. Uh, uh, so what's, uh, what's difference about uh, two, this two uh, different sensors? Okay, I will explain what's the difference here. Yes, yes. Yeah, because uh, for the uh, radar, uh, radar sensors, okay. uh, normally uh, their the detection range uh, is, oh, yeah. beyond, uh, is uh, between the three meter okay. to five meter maximum. But for the uh, for these microwave sensors, uh, the distance can be uh, uh, fifteen uh, cent uh, fifteen meters. Okay. And uh, uh, for the uh, for this kind of sensors, uh, the uh, working uh, the conditions, uh, the works more stable in different kind of uh, weathers. Okay. okay. So uh, more uh, accurate, right? Yes. Okay. okay. So and uh, we can see that uh, our sensors is very small and slim. Yes. Because we are using uh, different kind of. Uh, sensor comparing with other uh, competitors. Okay. Uh, we know that uh, because uh, for the other competitors are using a uh, very big, uh, uh, big uh, yes, yeah. big sensors here, yeah. like, just like this. Yes, for this one. Another uh, brand? Uh, yes, this is from our competitors. Okay. We know that it's very big yes. and our is small. So uh, what's the difference here? Because uh, the frequency for the uh, sensor is different. Yes. Uh, normally, for our for the other customer for the other competitors, uh, they are using twenty four G uh, G uh, sensors here. Okay. And uh, our uh, sensors we are using uh, seventy nine G Okay. Uh, High frequency, right? Yes, the frequency is different. Okay. And uh, so uh, why we need why we chosen this kind of frequency sensor here? Yeah. Uh, that is because we can see it uh, apparently uh, this sensors the size is bigger, bigger yeah. yeah because for this sensor we are installing uh, under the bumper uh, inside the bumpers yes so normally uh, the space uh, inside the bumper is very small yeah. if your sensor is big so you cannot fit for, uh, for the all the cars yeah. Be okay. because the space between the bumper we can see that okay for example here is the rear bumpers. Yes. Uh, inside the space inside is yes. very limited here. Yeah. And uh, be also you can see they here have the uh, lights and the other other cables on the inside of the bumpers. Yes. So if you, your sensor is too big, uh, then they have left this small space space to in install the sensors. So yeah. Yes. So limited space of the bumper decide yeah. to the. Uh, sensor is uh, need to small. Yes, small it will be design. small size here. Yeah, yeah. So that's why we chosen uh, this kind of uh, sensor here. Yeah. And what's more, uh, the accuracy uh, for the two kind of sensor is different. Uh, for the uh, sensors like this one, the 24 G Hertz uh, sensors, the accurate uh, is about. Uh, uh, 30 to 50, uh, to 40 uh, to 50 centimeters okay. but our uh, this kind of sensors the accuracy is about uh, 3 to 5 centimeters okay so which means 
uh, it should, the accuracy is uh, be, much better, much better yeah, yeah, than the uh, and other performance. yeah school performances, and okay. also uh, it can work for uh, all kinds of conditions of the weather. Okay. Uh, even there have a fog, slowing, or heavy rains. Uh, the sensor is working very stable here. Okay. So that's why we're using this kind of sensor here. Okay. That's okay. Great. Okay. So uh, let's say what's more here. Okay. What's this? Uh, here is a display. Okay, very small. Uh, yes, it's very small and uh, it's a triangle uh, uh, shape design. Yes. So uh, this kind of display uh, we were uh, installed on the A pillar of the cars, okay. uh, both the, for the uh, left side and the and the right side. Okay. So uh, when you uh, want to change the lanes. Uh, if they have a car coming from the back, uh, this uh, display will warning the driver by flash and uh, the sound. Okay. Yeah. So you warning by the whistle and the uh, sounds, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, if the you, if you don't want to change the name, but uh, still they have a car comes here, so they they will only have the light flashing. Okay. Yeah. To let us the driver they have a approaching car. Because you say uh, this product you won't mean in the driver by the flash and the beat, right? Yes. So uh, I would mm. like to know this uh, this display is a warming uh, can be chose the to turn on or turn off. Uh, yes. Uh, the voice, the volume of the voice uh, can be uh, changed here. Yes, I saw uh, this. It has a button for the change. Yes, we have a very small hole to. Uh, change the uh, switch okay. to switch it on or switch off okay. for the uh, for the sound okay. because maybe for some driver it thinks that uh, the vo voice is uh, too uh, noisy here yes. so you can choose to turn off then okay. you will already have the flash here okay so uh, mm. can you show us uh, this yes. product how does it work okay uh, we will check uh, 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 okay okay we are Show you this uh, on this display. Okay. Okay. Uh, we uh, in order to uh, in order to show you this uh, product how we're working here. Uh, we made a tester here. Yes. Okay. So uh, for example, uh, we have different kind of displays. For okay. example, we have this one. Uh, this is like a ruby is a red color, and also we have another display like. A, uh, showing on the mirrors, so we can uh, check the, for the uh, how it works here. Okay. Uh, for, normally, uh, while you driving on the roads, if there have a approaching car from the back side, then uh, our uh, display will only flashing to warning the drivers. Okay. okay, we can see how it works here. Okay, so that, that means there have a approaching car from the back, okay. and uh, at the same time, right. So uh, when he turning the turning light, uh, you will give the light flashing and the sound at the same time. Okay. So that means uh, uh, it's very dangerous here. So you shouldn't to change the lane. And you have to wait in the uh, car comes, and then you are uh, it's safe for you to change the lane. Okay. okay. So after your operation for this yeah. model, I think this product is very useful for the driver, right? Yes. Okay, so uh, let us come com come back for the component of this okay. product. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay so uh, let us uh, to check what's more components inside. Okay. Okay. Firstly, uh, here is the main CU. Yes. And uh, here is the display, and uh, we have uh, two sensors here. Okay. And uh, okay, what's more? And uh, there's a photo protect the yeah, CU the, and the, the components. Sensor. Yes. Okay. Okay, we can check inside. Okay. Okay. Here is a cable uh, for the uh, main ECU. Very strong uh, for the uh, yes, cable. Yes, yeah, this is for the sensors. Okay. And here is for the main ECU. Okay. And uh, there have some tape. Okay. And uh, this, this is one. a magnet to help in the calibrating the positions. Okay. So uh, after uh, I introduced the components, uh, we have a small video to show how to install these systems. Okay. okay. Uh, firstly, we can say that uh, here uh, is the main cable for the uh, brand's protections. 
and we can see that this cable is very strong and very heavy here. Yes. And uh, so uh, we can ensure the durability for this product. Okay. Here is the main connector to the uh, ECUs. So uh, we just uh, need to uh, plug yeah. into the uh, main ECU. Oh, uh, so this is, yes. And uh, we also uh, wear off our, our uh, sticker for the main ECU to stick on the uh, vehicles. Okay. And uh, say, we can see what's more how to connect uh, the other cables. Uh, we can see there have a lot of cables and also have uh, many fuels here. Okay. okay, so much more here. And uh, okay. Uh, here, uh, this two cable is for the uh, for the sensors. Yes. Uh, and we can see that uh, there, uh, the sensor have uh, uh, have indicate uh, for the left and the right. Oh, okay. uh, this is for the right, and uh, here uh, is for the left. So uh, the sensor, uh, this sensor didn't uh, choose the positions, but we should choose the position for the cables. Okay. So uh, this one have to. Uh, change to uh, install the corresponding side yeah. of your bumpers yes. and then we just plug into the sensor uh, then you, the sensor installation is finished okay. and what's more we have to uh, connect in few cables uh, because uh, here uh, the cable uh, need to uh, power to our main ECU and, uh, the, and also you are uh, connecting to the turning lights Okay, so what's we will check what's uh, this the uh, this few cables are connected uh, connected to for. Firstly, uh, the red cables uh, is for the uh, this is the red one is for the reversing uh, lamp, uh, which means uh, when you are reversing this system also uh, detecting the object from the uh, back. Okay, and uh, also. Uh, here, uh, the black cable is connecting to the ground, and uh, okay, and uh, this brown brown cable uh, is turn is connecting to the uh, right turning light. This is for the right turning okay. light, which so mean yeah, which means when you turn in the uh, turning light to the right, they have the input to okay. the main ECU. Okay. okay. And uh, what's more, here, uh, F yes, F yes, the blue cable is for the uh, left uh, turning light. Okay. So you, when you turn in to the left, there have an input to the main ECU as well. Okay. So what's more for the this one? Uh, this one uh, is uh, the uh, light blue ones colors is for the currents currents uh, lamp. Uh, which means for you, uh, uh, this uh, uh, like the uh, we or we call it a small light in Chinese, okay. uh, because you are uh, indicate your uh, indicate your uh, light uh, to for for the light for during the light. Okay, so here is the uh, here is the cables connecting to different cables here. Okay. And uh, this one, uh, this one is for the uh, this cable is for the display, and uh, we can see that uh, here is the display for the uh, left for the right. That is really easy. Yes. Let me try. Okay. Okay. Yes, and uh, this one is for the left. Yes. And uh, here. Uh, we have to connect this cable to the uh, to the main cables, and then we finish the installation for the whole systems. Okay. Yeah, it's only a few cables to connect. So comparing with the car alarms, I think uh, this product uh, the installation is much easier yes. here. Yeah, because for uh, car alarm systems are the more more than uh, twelve or thirteen uh, cables should be connecting. And uh, each cable you have to find it in your dashboard. Yes. So I think this one, the wire connection is much easier here. Okay. Okay, so uh, we finished uh, this item.
And uh, what's more, we have uh, another model. Yes, okay. of course, for steel mates, uh, we are not uh, just uh, uh, promote what just one items for our. Uh, Steel mobile products, we have always have a lot of choice for our customers. Yes. Yeah, so uh, let us see what's more choice for our customers. Okay. Uh, just now we introduced the SBS1 uh, okay. uh, with a triangle displays, and uh, we have a, a larger displays for customers to choose as well. Okay, okay so uh, we, let us see what's the different display for the customers. Okay. And the uh, first one is this kind of uh, smaller, uh, smaller uh, Ruby designed uh, okay. displays, as we just uh, showed to the customers. And uh, you can see that uh, the color is orange, and uh, uh, it's uh, only flashing. But uh, if without sound, they also have a, a larger buzzer here to install under the uh, dashboard here. Yes. Okay. This is for the Ruby designed. Uh, uh, displays and uh, another uh, de design is for this kind of uh, mirror. Uh, mirror uh, okay, for this mirror design, because uh, for some cars, for the uh, original cars, uh, if the car, original car with the with the uh, brain spot detection systems, yes, normally. Normally, uh, the uh, the indicator that uh, were showing on the mirrors. So uh, when they, uh, okay, so everything is okay. <laughs> they are continue to introduce okay. about this. Okay. 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 Uh, so uh, if they uh, have uh, the brain spot testing with the original for the original cars, uh, normally it is showing on the mirrors. So because. Uh, uh, it's more easier for the drivers to be noticed the situation here because okay. uh, normally when the driver want to change the lane, uh, first side they have to uh, turn uh, to check the uh, side from the mirrors. So if they have a approaching object here, so it will be easy for uh, the drivers to catch the side from the mirror. Okay. So that's why uh, there also have a lot of customers prefer the display to show in on the mirrors. But there have a lot of uh, problem here. For most uh, uh, products from the competitors, uh, they uh, show in, they designing the display on the mirrors. But for different cars, the mirror, the shape is different. So yes. yeah, so the, so, so the uh, mirror uh, cannot be faced for all the cars. Yes. Yeah, that's a that's a that's big, not cool. yeah, yeah. It's, it's a big problem for yeah. this kind of product because you cannot shoot shoot for for all the models of cars. Okay. Only can be uh, specially for uh, special specific models here. Okay. But uh, for our steel mate, uh, we have another uh, solution here. Uh, we are using a uh, optical uh, fiber designed uh, uh, displays. So we can check the back side of here. Uh, this uh, display is not uh, normally the LED flash, uh, LED indicators. It's optical fiber inside. So uh, the the uh, the light the light were transforming from the main ECU to the uh, display. This is the display here. Yes. So we can check again. It's not, uh, yeah, th this is a red light here, but uh, it's optical light, actual light. It's not uh, for the LED indicator or LCD indicator like that. It's actual optical light. Okay. So uh, with this uh, solutions here, so uh, this product is 100% uh, to shootable for all kind of mode of cars. Okay, so this is a, a rather special design for our uh, brand spot detection systems here. Okay. Okay. We just uh, introduced uh, the brand spot detection is uh, display, right? Yeah. So uh, how about the sensor? Because I thought the sensor uh, only has one the installation is a sticker. Uh, so also have uh, another choice for the customer. Yes. Uh, as I just said that uh, 
Uh, after install, uh, introduction about this product, we will share a small video for how to install about the sensors. So uh, let us uh, to check uh, the video for how to install in the sensor first, and then we will check another solution for the customers. Okay. okay. Uh, after uh, we check the video, how to uh, install the uh, normal uh, radar, the microwave oh, sensors okay. uh, for the stick on into the bumpers. Yes. And uh, we have offered another solution for the installations, uh, which is uh, similar like our parking sensors. Uh, this one uh, is kind of a drilling hole way to installing this kind of uh, brand fortification systems. Okay. And uh, we have two sensors here. Oh. The installation uh, is just yeah, is just exactly as the parking sensors. Uh, we can offer a special uh, drainer to drain a hole yes. uh, for installation because uh, normally uh, for some country, for, for Euro some European countries uh, or North American countries, uh, the uh, labor cost. Uh, is much higher. So, uh, if we want to uh, install the brand spot detection systems, uh, you have to discharge the rear bumpers. So, it will take a lot of time. And uh, if you choose our uh, this training uh, training hole way to uh, install the sensors, it can be uh, very easily to uh, install this kind of uh, systems. Uh, you no need to dis uh, to discharge the bumper. And you just drilling a hole and insert these uh, uh, sensors, 
and then you can finish the uh, the installations. So uh, it's a much uh, easier way for our customers to choose. Okay. So uh, for our customers, uh, we uh, our steamnet provides a lot of choice uh, to the customer to to choose uh, with a different kind of displays and uh, also different kind of uh, sensors for the installation ways uh, to help the customer to reduce the labor cost. Yes. Yeah, so uh, if you are interested with our products and uh, if you uh, want to try our products, you can contact with us by the email uh, which is showing on the top of the screen. Yes. Okay. So Becky, do you have any other problem about this product? Uh, for now, uh, just uh, for another question is about yeah. the, uh, you know, because uh, when we uh, change the lane light, yes, yes, so uh, the another display will flash light, yeah, yeah. So uh, I would like to know this flash is has a different uh, the, the light, different lights to showing the car, showing the car to approach our car light. Yeah. Yeah. So I think mm. this uh, when this we decide for the customer, mm, yeah. right? Yes. Yes. So uh, uh, this brand brand protection systems uh, is mainly uh, designed to help the people uh, to ensure the driving uh, is more safe. Yes. And also uh, it gives the uh, a lot of functions uh, to help the drivers uh, when he reversing the car. Uh, if they have a poaching uh, object from the left and the right side, uh, it also uh, the system will all in you for this. Okay, so okay, so uh, uh, for now I yeah. don't have any question about the, this product because uh, yeah. your introduction is really details for that, right? Okay. <laughs> uh, so uh, today uh, we just introduced about the parking sensors and also for the brand sportification systems. Yes. So uh, this kind of uh, products are greatly helping our drivers to ensure the uh, driving safety and the parking safety is here. Yes. So uh, I think uh, it's, uh, uh, this product is greatly uh, to uh, relief our slogan here. Uh, think safety, think steam Yes. Okay, so uh, if you want to introduce about, uh, if you want to uh, know, our, yeah, know more about our products yes. or our uh, company, and uh, you can check the video, and we will introduce you uh, our company and how the products to be produ pr produced here. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm Abby. Today I'm going to show you around the workshop and the testing center in Steelmate to see how the workshop are running and how our product is being produced in the production line as well as what the testing center is capable of. So let's go and look around the workshop first. Okay, now we are at the entrance of the SMT workshop. And you can see that here is the dressing room for the workshop staff to change into their ESD gears and shoes. Let's go inside to see what's going on there. After checks, here we are in SMT workshop. As you can see, there are 10 production lines over here to mount the electronic components on PCBs. With the production capacity of more than 200 million pieces of PCBs of electronic components each month. In the following minutes, I will take a closer look and show you how the tiny electronic components are being mounted. As you can see, the bare PCB pile in good order is fitting inside the machine for surface cleaning. After cleaning, the PCB will be conveyed to this Siemens machine. Look, the robotic arms are dispersing the solder paste onto the predefined area on the PCB, according to the computing program. Of course, we got quality check station here right after the solder paste printing process to check whether the printing work was done well or not. Then, the PCB will continue to be conveyed next to the small chamber where robotic arms pick up the tiny electronic components, such as resistor, capacitor, diodes, chipsets, 
and place them onto the specific location based on the computing program. After components placed onto the solder paste layer, we will have them to go through this reflow soldering oven for a certain time at a certain temperature, so that the components are firmly soldered with the PCBs. Okay, here we are at the last workstation, AOI testing station. Each and every piece of solder PCB will be inspected by AOI tester for any functional or physical defect. Then the OK populated PCBs will be placed into the anti-static plastic box and transferred to DIP workshop for further processing. Now we are in DIP workshop. We can see this PCB from SMT workshop are in place and this PCB will be inserted with other plug-in electronic components. So right after plug-in components insertion and before waving soldering, we have a check station to visual inspect whether components are inserted correctly without any defect. Then, as what is done in SMT workshop, you got the components soldered onto the PCB. So, the way soldering oven is in place to solder the components for a certain time at a certain temperature. When the solder PCB come out of the oven, we have got a checking station here visually inspected the soldering quality. At last, to ensure quality and function of the components and the PCBAs, we've got ICT test at the end of the line to give all PCBAs a thorough physical and functional inspection. And the PCBA tested OK will be transferred to assembly workshop. Well, now we are in the parking assist system assembly workshop. In this workshop, the finished products will be assembled and packaged manually. We can see that after assembling parts onto the PCBAS, the semi-finished product will have to go through a test machine for functional test. After the scheduled parts are assembled, we have a check station here to test again all the functional performance of the product before they can be through to package station. This is roughly how our product is being produced and how the workshop are running. And next, I will show you around the testing center and tell you what it's capable of. Hey guys, now we are standing in front of the gate of the testing center. Let's go and take a closer look. Wow, look at this certificate. Here we get testing capability approvals from national organization and OEM customers. The testing center is accredited by CNAS in accordance with ISO 17025 general work requirements on testing and calibration. Going forward, we will see the automotive test system. It is testing system that can simulate the harsh electronic environments in vehicle and test the anti-interference capability of power supply electronic pumps for the product. Next to it is the shielding room where CI tests are performed to verify the capability of the products to affect other objects. Here is another room with test device sourced from Japan. It can simulate as high as 30 kV static charge to test the product. Out of anti-static test room, we now come into environmental test room. You can see the test chambers are all occupied by the products being tested. High temperature tests and low temperature tests Source spray tests are being performed in this room. On the right side is the automatic radar detection test zone. The radar detection range can be verified here, and the test data will be shown and stored in the related computer. In this room, we got inspection tools such as X ray machine, rose tester, and a microscope that can magnify image up to 2000 times. Then on the first floor, we have other test requirements. Mechanical shock table is used to test products for its endurance of mechanical shock. Three-in-one temperature test chamber is used to perform the high temperature test, low temperature test, and vibration test. Okay guys, what I have shown you today are only parts of the competitive that Stillmay production line and testing center obtain. If you want to learn more about Stillmay, please join us in online Canton Fair. Hope you guys can enjoy it. Bye! Okay, uh, after, uh, after uh, watching this uh, small video yes. uh, to introduce about uh, our production, I think uh, the customers uh, will be low, our, uh, low us better. Uh, so uh, if you still have a question 
about our uh, any products uh, for the uh, any products you uh, can contact with us by the email and uh, we were trying our best to collect uh, contacting you uh, as soon as possible so uh, so Becky we uh, just finished uh, all the presentation here right yes okay so uh, we will see you on the next show on yes. tomorrow's okay. okay see you bye bye see you bye bye Okay. Hello everyone, this is Ivan uh, from Steelmate and this is my partner Dong. Yes, uh, I'm uh, Ivan's partner, I'm Dong. I'm so glad to see you again. Yes, uh, we just finished our show, mm -hmm. first show in the yes. afternoon, uh, 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock 30. And we have got many new feedback um, from our client. Yes. And for this uh, show tonight, we will be special for the North American market yeah. and we will introduce some uh, new item yes. to our client. And Tom, mm -hmm. you know that uh, um, because today we have introduced uh, for the TPMS yes. and do you know what I am going to introduce to uh, our client? Okay, uh, before <laughs> we introduce this product, maybe, maybe we should get some relaxed topic before introducing uh, the product because we <laughs> almost we have been you know you just finished the show mm -hmm. with uh, our uh, business director bacon mm -hmm. so yes i think you maybe uh, okay. should, should be tired at this time uh, uh, and yes a little bit tired because you know yeah. yesterday evening my girl, my daughter my girl she was playing until one o'clock in the evening <laughs> so I got a very really bad sleep last night. So you can see I'm very tired. Yes, you. <laughs> we, we understand. You know, I have a son, and maybe maybe we meet the same situation. I also play with my son, mm -hmm. and may, last night we played until uh, one o'clock. It he's, made me very. He's uh, always asking you to play with him, right? <laughs> yes, he's uh, uh, a boy uh, in foot of energy and. Uh, he prayed every night, and so I got uh, a back trip every night, maybe. So I'm also tired. Yes, I can imagine that because uh, I have a daughter as well, and I need to play with her mm -hmm. for all day. I'm not, I don't know why she's always full of energy <laughs> <laughs> for the for, for children, but I, I was so tired because uh, in the morning we need to work, and until now I'm still working. Yes. So it's very tight for me for long day. Yes. And even I also I have a baby and yes, it's quite difficult for for yes. for men to do that. Yes. Yes, every baby is the same. Mm. Also as a father I know each other. Yes. And we, exactly. we know we, we prayed how uh, many for our tribe every day. Mm. So yeah, I understand you and mm. also you understand me, right? Yes, and it's not only for Thai mm -hmm. but also it's very okay. costly to have a baby. You yes. know we we need to buy uh uh many if by the, yes many uh baby accessories uh, some yes. something like yes mm. for the milk. Yes. And something for for his food, yes. yes and for the and for toys. the clothes, yes. And toys. And mm. yes, so we have some so many things we need to buy for a baby. Yes. And this month I'm planning to buy a baby seat uh, to my daughter. Okay. Yes, but it is too many different brands in the market. Okay. Uh, for the baby seat. So do you have any recommendation? Okay. To uh, and my opinion uh. I have do some research on internet and I see some uh, brands and and so on the uh, ear markets uh, such as uh, Taobao Bao. It is a domestic, domestic uh, yes. brand. It's very famous in China. And mass cost. I don't. Uh, I don't. Uh, it's from Poland. If okay. I play, yes, it's from Poland. Okay, this Messi Yes, yes. yes. Uh, buyer, I don't know uh, too much about that. But, but I, 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 mm -hmm. I, you know, I, I just got a news that. Uh, for the basic cosy, mm -hmm. uh, the the parents have uh, one parent which from Europe. Okay. They buy a they buy a, a basic cosy baby seat. Okay. And then one time they they have a driver outside with uh, for travel mm -hmm. with their kids, 
Okay. With their baby in the baby seat. Okay. Uh, but unfortunately, they have a, a car accident. Yeah, they have car accident with what another car. car. Accident is that? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not quite sure. They may be just hit with another car okay. from during the driving. Yes. Okay. Um, so, so the news said that uh, mm -hmm. the player was injured from this accident, but not that. Uh, but it's very heavily injured. Okay. But the baby is very safety and very perfect, and without oh. any injury, with the baby seat. So, so yeah, I think this brand be quite good. I, I have not uh, received any other one's testament yes. fee <laughs> from the brand, yes. but just uh, for the news, just a news I Yes, okay. maybe the Max uh, Corsi brand is <laughs> an a, a old brand in the market, and <laughs> so he designed, designed the products very good and think about all the things of this uh, mm. baby seat. Yes, maybe mm. their technology will be good. And yes. uh, I will consider to have this okay. one. Yes, you reminded me. Yes, mm. also I see that uh, uh, it is a brand called uh, Britex. No, uh, right you know that? Yeah, Yes, right from Germany, I, 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 if I remember okay. correctly. From Germany, but the call is very high, really high. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, 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 how much is that? A uh, Porsche 86 six thousand dollars six thousand oh, dollars yes. okay yes okay this quite, is a very crazy yes price. very costly <laughs> right yes very costly yeah, uh, yeah. but some okay. clients some some parents they may not consider for the price they may most consider for the safety so, so they they may will rather to buy a high cost one with more safety Okay. Then a normal one, maybe. Okay, so yeah. finally, what a brand you choose uh, the, the, for the baby seat? Uh, um, I don't have a decision that. yet. But maybe Mexico uh, but later on, yes, choice. better choice. Uh, in beyond the baby seat, I'm okay. I'm looking for uh, any other uh, baby safety mm -hmm. accessory for the car, and I do know uh, still may have one item which called BSD. Uh, okay. baby seat uh, BSA, yeah, baby BSA, seat along. yes BSA baby yes. seat along yes. right yes this is uh, this. accessories for the baby seat hmm. and prevent uh, threat from uh, uh, I will show you the details uh, <laughs> yeah I knew that uh, I knew that uh, there should be some similar item mm -hmm. for the BSA from the market yeah because you know, uh, Italian, mm -hmm. they have a man mandatory uh, police that require the parents who have the baby seat in car is not enough yes. for the kids. Okay. And they also need to have this uh, baby uh, seat along yes. to remind uh, them to take the baby uh, away okay. when they do the parking and so. go up, take a uh, lead away from the car. So, so yeah. This is uh, where it's become very popular items. Yes, so yeah, from Europe. Uh, for this uh, police, they require the mm -hmm. parents to mm -hmm. buy an item like a BSA and to uh, remind the parents when they get out of the car and remind them uh, you has you still have a baby yeah, yeah. inside the car. You yes. have to take it out before mm -hmm. you leave the car. Mm -hmm. okay, because so, uh, mm -hmm. why they have this kind uh, this police? Uh, because. Uh, as the result mm -hmm. uh, I got here is global hundred infect were okay. death from the overheating car mm -hmm. because of the forgetting by the parents who left their baby in car. Okay. So in USA alone, uh, in 2018, 52 children mm -hmm. that which led to the whole car okay. by the parents. So same accident which have been happened to the, from uh, uh, Australia and from China, also the Middle East. Okay. So that's why Italian have this kind of policy yes, to this, require the parents. Yes, this mm. uh, sounds uh, really horrible. So I think the parents uh, should be more careful if mm. they take the baby out uh, mm. with a car. So mm. and uh, is there any good ways to uh, or anything can help us? Uh, just like I, uh, you it mentioned, I don't know if uh, BSA is a good option to. I think uh, yeah. currently uh, mm -hmm. BSA will be the best solution okay. on this uh, accident because uh, on this situation because uh, you know normally when we uh, park the car 
Mm-hmm. Maybe we are, we are answering the phone, mm-hmm. we are playing the phone, we are check the details of where we should go next, uh, in next. And meanwhile, we will let our baby in car. Okay. So that will be easy to happen, this kind of issue. Yes. And you know why uh, we recommend you to choose Silmate? I think uh, the audience here is, may somebody have already heard Silmate. Mm-hmm. Yes, this brand. Uh, this our brand is uh, already sell all over the market. Yes, and the quality make it uh, very been gross yes. and achieve most of love by our client. Yeah, uh, I think so. I think the audience here you want to know more about steel yeah. So here we uh, we have prepared a video yeah. for you to introduce who is still made okay. and what we are doing so okay l- let's show the video okay let's go for a video the world's first four-wheeled car was produced in germany in 1886 and since then the automotive industry ushered in a blowout period of development With the tremendously industrial growth of in recent years, the automotive industry has officially entered the mature stage from the growth stage. As the world is moving forward, so does the automotive industry. The world automotive industry is evolving at a strikingly fast pace characterized by more sensor fusion solutions, smarter control system, and faster real-time network system. And this is what exactly Steelmate has been working on. Steelmate Company Limited has been focusing on the design and development of the automotive safety electronics for the automotive aftermarket since 1993, when it was established. And with great achievements made in the past two decades, it has become one of the leading automotive parts provider in China, specializing in design, manufacture, and sale of automotive safety electronics. In 2003, Steelmade strategically expanded into OE business with dedication to OE market for over a decade. Steelmade has forged a reliable business relationship with mainstream car manufacturers such as Jin AC, Chang'an Auto, Jili Auto, Cherry Auto, Great Wall Motor, Xiaopeng Auto, BAIC Motor. As a technically leading automotive electronics provider, Steelmade is always customer-oriented and has independently developed Body Control Module BCM Series with extraordinary data computing and processing abilities. BCM is capable of centralized control of a variety of in-car electronic devices, such as electronic device for door and window control, central control lock, remote alarm system, light control, wiper control. To further satisfy customer demand on more convenient driving, Steelmate makes a step forward to launch IBCM that integrates multiple functions of the BCMs. Keyless entry and start PEPS series with low frequency and low frequency two-way wireless communication. PEPS is able to remotely control opening car door and starting the car. When the PEPS is detected in the defined range, advanced RFID radio frequency identification technology used will authorize the vehicle to activate the system functions such as automatic unlock, keyless ignition, T-Box to follow the industrial trend of intelligent and convenient driving. Steelmate rolls out T-Box system, which enables the interactive functions between internet and hardware in the vehicle, making it possible to view vehicle status, to control or start vehicle remotely through the app in smartphone that is designed to participate in a vehicle control system. Furthermore, Steelmate has technically engaged in the development of Parking Assist System, PAS, Tire Pressure Monitoring System, TPMS, and is offering on the market a set of automotive electronic solutions, including sensors, controllers, and networked devices, in order to serve the car manufacturer better and keep in alignment with the automotive development trend. Steelmate established that the Guangdong Engineering Technology RMB Center by taking advantage of high-performance data processing and strategy algorithm in onboard computer and 5G-based connectivity to facilitate the traffic information between vehicle and man, vehicle and road, 
ViewGlenn backhand control systems exchanged and shared in a more intelligent manner, achieving a safer, greener, and more enjoyable driving. With the product development experience and technical accumulations gained from OE Business, Steelmate upgrades the products that target aftermarket business, attaching more importance to technology and quality of products. Since 1993, Steelmate has served millions of drivers in over 12,000 outlets in more than 800 cities across China. To meet the requirements of upper market. Steelmate has launched over 5,000 types of automotive electronics all through these years, including car alarm system CAS as China's number one brand in car alarm system. Steelmate has developed a number of car alarm systems, including one-way alarm and two-way alarms, which are both stylish and trendy. With in-depth analysis of consumer preferences in the market, Steelmate will be continuously offering drivers more options of alarm solutions. Tire pressure monitoring system TPS. MS, involving from black-white display to color display, from powered by electrical power supply to solar energy, from external sensor to built-in sensor, Steelmate TPMS has emerged as the best product of its kind, a benchmark in the industry. In 2019, Steelmate Mini One, a multifunctional TPMS specifically designed for women, made its debut. It keeps the original TPMS function while integrating more daily life convenience, such as in-car scent freshener. Mobile phone holder and parking number reminder, together with its Macrom's color scheme, make it well received among female drivers. Parking Assist System (PAS) with in-depth command of ultrasonic sensing technology, Steelmate developed parking sensors for both front and rear obstacle detection. The system is able to detect accurately the obstacles and remind drivers of the distance, assisting drivers with driving in narrow lanes, reverse parking. And parallel parking, blind spot detection (BSD) with microwave radar technology. Steelmate developed a blind spot detection system that can detect approaching cars from blind or from the neighboring lanes entering the blind zones, and then remind drivers of being cautious when changing or merging lanes under such circumstances, helping drivers keep a safer driving in harsh environments such as in rainy, foggy, or snowy weather. Front glitching warning (FCW). Steelmate was the first company. Adopting military-grade microwave radar technology to develop FCW that detects accurately the dynamic distance between the front vehicles when driving at a speed of over 30 kilometers per hour. The system can work well all day long without being influenced by bad environment such as in rain, foggy, snowy, and hazy weather, and issue warnings if necessary to avoid potential collisions. One's driving safety system, an integration of multiple functional modules. In 2019, Steelmate brought forward the innovative concept of multi-modular safety application configurations, and later revealed its One's driving safety system, which integrated the various safety functions used for safe driving. And displayed all the real-time driving data via its DVR screen, existing Android infotainment dashboard, or LED screen, thus improving significantly the driving safety and comfort. This system also is designed to allow drivers to select their favorite safety applications based on personal requirements and purchase preferences. M Audio. Driving, besides being safe, should also be enjoyable. Steelmate has dived deep in the research in car audio and created Hammer Audio brand with a set of audio products, including DSP power amplifier, onboard power amplifier, onboard subwoofer, and high-quality loudspeaker. With the customer-tailored products and services, Steelmate is providing drivers with a safer and more acoustically enjoyable ride. Every innovation is by no means accidental. Adhering to the principle that innovation creates productivity, Steelmate has established a large R&D team with more than 1,000 professionals who are involved in research and design programs with universities and research institutes, as well as business partners such as Chongqing University, Beijing Institute of Technology, and Guangdong University of Technology, Hong Kong Applied Science and Technology Research Institute, Meter Tech Incorporated, Hong Kong Productivity. 
Cantor, Nutrition Steel Night established the strategic partnership with world known European and American companies and were granted for more than 500 local and international patents with over 70,000 technical articles published. Where there's no standard, there's no quality. This is the universally acknowledged rule in manufacturing sector. In this regard, Steel Night has passed the strict management system of IATF 16949 2016 specifically for automotive industry and other standards such as ISO 9001, ISO 14000. All these standards and systems are being kept effectively running to ensure the quality. Steelmate Industrial Park covers an area of more than 60,000 square meters and a many equipped with 45 modern production lines, a fully automatic AK-1 workshop, an in-house mode workshop, an ISO 17025 compliant testing center. All are respectively arrived with high-speed, high-precision automatic machinery from world-class companies in German and Japan, like Siemens and Yamaha. Solid product development and production capacity together with continuous pursuit of innovation and high quality are the making of Steelmate. This is what Steelmate stands in China. Think safety. Think Steelmate. This is a serious commitment made by the Steelmate that to serve each and every customer with the most willing heart all through the entire process, starting from product innovation to product after sales service. Having customers' voices listened, their requirements satisfied, and their defective products freely returned. Steelmate actively organizes marketing meetings with deeply studying customer requirements and established Steelmate Business School with top consulting institutions to map out optimal product marketing solutions based on marketing strategy and image promotion of service provider. Thereby, creating a new business value chain and aftermarket business by helping service providers to build more connections with customers and then achieve more footfalls. Steelmate in the world. Steelmate stands high in Chinese market and is expanding into world market. Steelmate is vigorously expanding into international market by exploring in-depth cooperation with famous overseas automotive parts brands to cater to the needs of customers worldwide. So far, Steelmate has provided for millions of overseas drivers with various products that found good markets there. Moreover, since 2003, Steelmate has kept attending overseas automotive exhibitions and frequently won international awards demonstrating Chinese quality products and the refreshing image of Chinese enterprise. In 2020, steel-made products have been exported to and sold in over 8,000 outlets in more than 50 countries and regions worldwide. With quality products and trustworthy brand service, steel-made products are highly recognized by customers at home and abroad. For Ja Steelmate toodab maailma parimaid parkimisalturid. Think Steelmate. Steelmate yra patikimas mūsų partneris daugiau nei 10 metų. Steelmate has been our reliable partner for years with high quality products. Steelmate has been our reliable partner for years with high quality products. Think safety, think Steelmate. Ви друзям і знайомі. Перемоємо разом. Now we need to manage my entire budget conveniently and save me Safety
，想到铁将军，想到铁将军，想到铁将军，想到铁将军，想到铁将军，耶！想到铁将军，想到铁将军，想到铁将军，想到铁将军，想到铁将军。As a leader in automotive electronics, Steelmate has always been at the forefront of making automotive safety electronics available on the market in China. This is Steelmate, a dominating achiever in China, a vigorous competitor in the world. Think safety. Think Steelmate. Okay. Uh, now let's come back to our live noon. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. uh, after we shot the video, um, I believe you guys have already the impression for the steel made and yes. see the management, the quality control, and the R and D capacity. Yes. And you will know how uh, why steel made can be always the top supplier on this motor uh, industry. Yes, industry. Okay. okay, and and this time we would like to introduce you for the let's continue for introducing the products. Yes. Okay. okay. So mm. now let me uh, introduce the uh, for the uh, baby alarm. Mm. So uh, normally uh, you in in still may you will uh, find we have three models. Uh, we totally we have four models actually. Uh, for the uh, consumer uh, for buying. So first of all, I would like to show uh, this one. This one, uh, we, this is the, the model is uh, a baby seat around uh, one. Okay. Uh, we, we call it uh, a salt tree BSA one. Okay, you see. Okay, you see the the colorful box. Uh, first of all, you see uh, it is a, a light, uh, a light blue. blue. Yes. Uh, at the bot uh, at the top, and you see here is a baby seat uh, inside. Yes, uh, and, and it's smelling. Yeah, yes, it's very, very cute, cute. baby. Yes, and uh, at the you see also you can uh, see the our product uh, content from this package. Here uh, is a display with a green uh, baby hat, mm. and you, you see his uh, uh, display, and he is the uh, sensor of the uh, baby seat around. Okay, mm. so and also you can see some um, a brief introduction of the of the product mm. so for the, the function. Yes, for the function. Mm. Okay, okay. And, okay. and I thought mm -hmm. the package is uh, mostly can be suitable for the supermarket. Yeah. Yes, because this is uh, have with a handle hole. Yeah. Yeah, we can display on the showcase. Yes, yes. it is easy for the mother to take it out and, mm. and buy it very. Easily. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we have a uh, one more channel. Yes. It's for supermarket, and if you have you guys have any uh super channel for supermarket. Yes. Yeah. This is the best. Uh, uh it's a good choice yes, for, for you. Sure. Yes. To sell this kind of products. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. You can continue. Yes. You can also see some uh brief uh, key features, showing at the back side of the colorful box, but. Uh, it is not easy to uh, see the test from the camera, maybe. So I will uh, show you some features later. And okay, now let's open the uh, package box. Oh, okay. I forgot to uh, introduce about the specification. Mm. You see, uh, if our product uh, want to uh, sell yeah. to the uh, North America, uh, each country's uh, the local market. If the uh, if the product want to be. Uh, uh, certific certificate mm. by the local uh, requirement. Mm. We can do the certification by ourselves. Mm. If uh, so, so this is mm. we can also make this uh, optimize. Mm. Yes, okay. but cu mm -hmm. currently we have already done the certificate yes. for the FCC and for the C. North American market. Yeah, C for Euro market. Yeah. And also, this material will be very friendly to the environment yes. and those. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Mm. Thank you. 
So okay, let's uh, uh, open the Git to, uh, the Git box and let's see what is inside. Okay, let's check the component inside. Yeah, here is a, a plastic trap. Yeah, yeah, and only two parts in yes. this. Yeah. Package. Okay, so here is the inside package to protect our product for for the uh, from exp uh, transportation. Mm -hmm. So okay, now as um, Evan said. Here is two core parts for this product, mm. and we just see from the package. Here is the uh, display. Mm. It's, uh, it is a uh, 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 secret uh, project. Okay, uh, yes. security lighter. Yes. You show how to. Mm. We will see uh, the video to see how it uh, insert in, mm. uh, into the car. Okay. okay. So here is the sensor pad. Mm. The sensor pad. Oh, it is a black one. This color can be uh, uh, ch uh, chosen, but uh, as I as I understand, this part will be high at the uh, portion of the seat belt, so you don't have to maybe ch choose uh, what uh, any color you want. I think black is okay. Mm. Okay. So uh, here is the menu. It is a very easy menu. Just uh, put it at the uh, best track. Mm. And we found a, a sticker. Mm -hmm. Yes, here is a sticker, and this is also for installation. Okay. Mm -hmm. Also, here's a, a, a pad. Uh, I will show how to use this pad later. Okay. So uh, before we uh, summarize the features and so how to use, uh, maybe yeah, I do want to know how to insert mm -hmm. for this item into the car. Okay. Mm -hmm. So maybe we will go uh, for a, a short video. To show some details for okay. first. Perfect. Okay. Uh, BSA. BSA. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, let's come back to the uh, night. Uh, yeah. It looks like the baby seat around is very easy to install to into our car. Yeah. And Tom, can you tell us uh, what's special on steel made BSD? Okay. Um, uh, BSA. Yes. Uh, sorry, BSA. Yeah. Uh, for the for this product. Uh, it, uh, it the feature is not uh, difficult, but uh, it is very practical. Okay, first of all, and first of all, I just show you how to install uh, briefly. Mm, okay. okay. So here is the display. Uh, okay. When we uh, get this product and we get into the car and we just uh, insert this uh, 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 secret project into the uh, secret lighter. And, and just insert it and push it tightly. Mm. Okay, so then we can, uh, so we will have this pad now, and we uh, put this pad at the bottom of the, the seat and put a, a pad cushion uh, at, uh, at the top of the, the, the sensor, and this will look nice, and you will see not the you will not see the uh, uh, sensor at, uh, inside the, the seat belt, uh, the, the seat. And after that, and you can uh, now. Uh, here is a here is a sticker. This sticker uh, is useful uh, install the the pad. Okay, I forgot to tell the, that. No problem. This will be easy. Just uh, put it at the sensor and and put it uh, at the seat. After that, just put the caution uh, uh, at, the, at the top of the sensor and cover the sensor, so that's all. And now, after that, 
And after that, we will uh, take, we will uh, show you how to uh, activate this system. After uh, we uh, installation, we turn on the ACC. Mm, okay. Okay. So and then for the power supply. Yes, turn for the sub power supply, and you will see a signal uh, uh, in red at, at this at this phase because uh, it is still not working. Okay. So then uh, you put the pad. Okay. The the pad is uh, after installation. Okay. So we put our baby. Uh, the seat and buckle the uh, the seat belt mm. tightly, and we check if everything is good. And you will see the signal will turn uh, green. Okay, turn green. Means, nice. Yeah, it means the baby have already sit uh, in our uh, seat uh, uh, safely. Mm. Okay. My then, question, uh, uh, except for the light, green light or red light, is there any sounds? From this yes. uh, display, yeah, I forgot to tell that after the baby was uh, safe, uh, the seat safe uh, uh, tightly, uh, it also will be be twice in three minutes. Oh, okay. uh, it remind me, it, uh, uh, remind you that your baby has been uh, uh, has been uh, put to the sensors and sit well. Mm -hmm. And now we uh, turn on the car. So uh, at this time, the system. Uh, will enter and walking from this moment. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. So yeah. this installation is very easy and uh, easy to install. Uh, for uh, maybe every mother can use use it very simply. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. very convenient when we do installation. Yeah. And can be DIY by the consumer. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually, I have a question because. Mm -hmm. For this one, uh, is power the power is supplied from the ACC? Yes. Yes, am I correct? But for this one, I think there will be some uh, don't know battery the... inside. Yeah, you to are right. transmit the signal signal to the display. Yes. So uh, mm -hmm. I want to know uh, what kind of battery inside. Can we do the replacement or what is the night time on this battery? Yes, he. Uh, that will be a coin battery inside this sensor mm. and uh, normally we, let's say every day we uh, take our baby and drive outside uh, maybe four hours per day and as this use uh, uh, frequency and the battery will last uh, around uh, two years and after two years and this this battery will use up so at this time, you have to change a new battery, or uh, you can choose uh, change a new pad also. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So you mean the lifetime will be two years? Yeah, the okay. lifespan for the battery mm. will be two years around. Mm. After two years, I need to buy another um, sensor pad. Yes, for correct. My, for my alarm system. Yes, okay. correct. And yeah, uh, but I have a question. Mm -hmm. You said that uh, if uh, as I saw from the video, mm -hmm. uh, if I left the car, but I forgot to take my baby out, mm -hmm. the display will be a kid around me when I turn off the power. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And my question is, uh, what if I just do a, a temporary parking, or mm -hmm. I just do the refusing mm -hmm. for my car? Is it being a continuing warning? Yes. Then it uh, make me because that will make me very uh, feel very annoyed. Yeah, yeah, you are right. So our team have uh, already covered this problem because we we do a lot of uh, laboratory and test before we uh, put plus this uh, product come out. So uh, for this question, for this problem, we uh, have designed. A uh, model for we, we call it a uh, mute model, and we just put this uh, button, and, and you can set uh, and, and press this button uh, to uh, set a mute a mute uh, model, and this uh, and so, uh, when you get off the car, so at this time you can uh, go out 
and uh, as you said, you can go out pro, uh, pro, uh, temporarily and uh, all refuse for the car. And this at this time you don't have uh, to uh, keep listening the the voice very noisily. So mm. yes, our the, our design have solved this problem. So yeah, yeah, because you know if uh, it, it always keep warming. Uh, mm -hmm. If I just uh, left uh, for mini for mini mm -hmm. or maybe for a short time, yes. uh, my baby when when my baby heard this uh, warming, maybe that may make, make her cry. And uh, I yeah, think that yeah. is, that will be a very terrible function if, yes. if I yeah if I got this situation and when I back I need to make uh, <laughs> I need yes. I, I have too many trouble seen after that and yes. I need to cheer up my daughter my yes. baby yes. yeah after that that yeah, will yes. be a problem yes this yeah. is really a mm. problem so mm. our design have uh, solved this problem so mm. you see the product is very uh, humanized right. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and as you said, uh, the battery will be used for uh, a while, for use for two years. Mm -hmm. But uh, my question is, uh, after two years, how how to uh, how can I realize the battery is under now battery? Uh, the power is under now okay. battery. Okay, uh, we also uh, design a function and solve this problem mm -hmm. after. Um, uh, and okay, after this uh, device has been installed uh, well, and we uh, take it into working uh, structures, mm -hmm. and when we use uh, these sensors, maybe as we said, uh, maybe uh, after one year and longer, maybe up to two years. So this sensor will be uh, long, but will be. Uh, the, the battery will be used up, so he will send a signal to the display, and uh, and the in in the, in the display he will uh, uh, dis display the signal to remind you the battery is almost used out, and and this time uh, you you will know the sensor should be uh, replaced. Okay, mm -hmm. so this is very human mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, you know. My daughter is full of energy, mm -hmm. as I said. Yeah. And sometimes, what I'm concerned is the uh, when I drive in, but my daughter had a uh, fasten, uh, had uh, buckle the seatbelt mm -hmm. by herself, and left the baby seat. So what should I do this time? Is there any alarm? Because I I am focused on my driving. I'm not near nearly, nearly uh, know what happened on my behind. Yes. Uh our BSA alarm system also uh, uh, think about this and before we put it out, we press it out, we have also uh, think about this problem. So uh, when your baby uh, is trying to take out the seat belt and also this sensor can be, uh, uh, can be tested by this uh, uh, action, okay. also he will send a signal to the uh, display and remark and uh, warning you the, your baby is not sitting well and and this time you you, you also can uh, uh, track the the baby if he is going to leave and oh. maybe try to run away from the seat. Mm, yeah. Okay. So in this time, if he reminded me, mm. then I will. Uh, Cut down, break, take a break, and uh, to make a correct position for my baby. Yes, yes, yes. yeah. Mm. And besides, uh, you know, I have uh, actually my. I want to recommend this item to my friends, mm -hmm. but he has two baby. Okay. So should I have to buy two units for him? Yeah. Um. I th yes, as I know that for this for this model. Uh, uh, for this model, you have to buy two for if you have two baby. Okay, we have to buy full two full unit. Yeah. If